Well, Frank once again and my moving around Crystal has just caught me up on the chessboard. Wow, I am with uh, two gentlemen and which are very uh, good gentlemen. I've met them, I've interacted with them. Uh, on my right side is Kedwin, uh, Kedrick, sorry. <laughs> I was just from talking to Kedwin and so, you know, these guys, I don't know, are they twins or something? But then he's Kedrick and Mr. Bravo Zambia. Uh, so we are still talking about COVID-19 and the adherence levels to COVID-19 in relation uh, to e-learning at Kreso University. And with me is uh, Kendrick. Kendrick, how are you? Very fine, thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good to have you. How is the chest going? Uh, it's very much alright. Okay, I, I can see you're panicking. <laughs> Okay, great. Um, last year in 2020, we, we were going through COVID-19, the first COVID-19, but then uh, it has also followed us in 2021. We have the second wave of COVID-19. Uh, I had some complaint from Kedwin that, you know, the, the, the e-learning has been so hard for students to actually conform to. What is your take on e-learning amidst COVID-19? Uh, first of all, to start with, uh, learning is fundamental to the <coughs> survival of human beings and uh, in a situation where learning is disturbed as in the case of COVID-19 we we always have to find means and ways of making sure that we continue with learning because an educated nation is a wealthy nation wonderful an educated nation is a wealthy nation so you are saying regardless of covid 19 education should go on yeah education has to go on do you think the majority student at Crystal university have got the equipment the needed equipment to facilitate the e-learning uh yeah we're in the 21st century remember everyone has access to a smartphone everyone almost everyone has access to a computer so how you utilize it is what matters but i feel a lot of individuals have the capability yeah okay wonderful they've got the capability they've got the gadgets wonderful thing uh so looking back from 2020 to where we are in 2021 the last semester of uh, education in 2020 was done mainly uh, using uh, e-learning when you look at the uh assuming let's just put it assuming uh, do you think the majority managed and when you look at the statistical results that you have at Crystal University do you think it was effective uh, if you are to give me a scale of 1 to 10 then I would give Crystal University a 6 which is quite a good one because this was the first time we were doing uh, e-learning and uh, believe me, you, a lot of institutions struggled. I heard of a lot of institutions that started this e-learning, but the process stopped. But Crystal University managed to, you know, tarry and travel. Should we take Crystal University as a powerhouse? Now, away from uh, the e-learning, I want to find out from you, how are the adherence levels to COVID-19 at Crystal University? Uh, they are herons levels have been quite good uh it's unfortunate that we we don't have time to go around but you can you can you can see the measures that the school has put in place to make sure that everyone is uh adhering to the laid down procedure by ministry of health and the world health organization or now we're supposed to stop covid 19. so should we safely say crystal university is a safe place to be at um is Crystal University a safe place to be at? Uh, if Crystal University wasn't a safe place, I believe you are not going to be here as well. The fact Maybe I took a leap. Um, okay, the fact that we are here doing this interview shows that Crystal University is a safe place. Have we recorded any cases so far? No, we haven't. A lot of institutions have recorded cases of COVID-19, but Crystal University so far hasn't recorded any. That means the institution is doing very well. Wonderful. Random question. Random question. Okay. So, 
Mr. Kendrick, I want to find out from you, what are some of the symptoms of COVID-19? Uh, some of the symptoms of COVID-19, well, COVID-19 hasn't been fully understood by a lot of individuals in the world. Different people from different walks of life are coming up with different philosophies and different hypotheses on what COVID-19 is. But predominantly, um, a cough, flu, um, pain in the chest, or rather on the on the on the throat. Yeah, yeah. So those are some of them, you know. Okay, wonderful. So it has been me, Frank, uh, talking to Kedrick and trying to find out the adherence levels to COVID-19 at Creso University. So, you know, if you want to find a safe place like Kedrick has put it, Creso University is a safe place. It hasn't recorded any COVID-19 cases. So if you are a new student at Creso University, feel free, be safe, be assured you are in a safe environment. To meet again, Frank, on safety at Creso University. See you.